Hi! Before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you ShiftSync to be the main sponsor of today's video. Are you tired of feeling isolated in your work as a tester, developer or DevOps specialist? You want to be part of a community that is passionate about innovation, collaboration and cutting-edge technology? Look no further than ShiftSync. Follow the link in the video description and sign up for free and start the exchange with like-minded people. The goal of ShiftSync is to create a dynamic, engaged space for developers, testers and industry leaders to share knowledge and grow professionally. Quality is more than testing and such sharing with collaboration will help improve the software development lifecycle on every stage, from a security, code writing, defining requirements, accelerating performance and setting up a high function developing team. ShiftSync is a community for everyone and anyone who is interested in all aspects of quality engineering from left to right across the, across the software development spectrum. Engaging and relevant for users, practitioners, testers, manual or being automated, developers, no matter if it's web applications, mobile applications or DevOps Def Def specialists, software admins and the like. It shares relevant contexts such as blog posts, discussions, roundtable discussions and webinars. So make sure to sign up using the link in the video description and to start your community collaboration today. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here today. In today's video is about mobile testing tools. You have seen it already in the title and don't worry, I'm not going to talk about Appium or Maestro or XUI test, Espresso, Earl Grey or whatever tool you are using for mobile test automation. No, today I'm basically doing the second part of a video that I have done a couple of weeks ago where I was talking about the five software testing tools every tester should know about. And these were tools for web-based applications that are you know, let's say really helpful for your daily life as a software tester. And I got great feedback um, for that video and you asked me like, hey Daniel, how about a uh, the similar video where you talk about mobile testing tools that help us as mobile testers or software testers to test against mobile applications? And say, like, yes, of course, thanks for the feedback. And here we go, here's the video that you asked for. and. Um, for today, I don't. I not only have five um, tools that I would like to show you, but eleven, and it's a it's a long list of tools that we're going through uh, right now in a second. And um, I bet you have some other tools that you use in your daily life as a mobile tester. And it would be really great if you can share those tools with us in the comment section below to inform others what they can use for uh, different sections, for example, or different scenarios that you have in mind, and so forth and so forth. So um, as also, as always, you find all the links to the tools that I'm going to show you in a second in the video description. So to make sure to follow up there as well. Um, one little hint um, for this video as well. The tools that I'm going to, to show you are in the majority open source product, uh, projects. So they're free to use. Uh, you can happy, happily use them fork them, extend them, return something back to the community. There are some tools that you have to pay for, but um, I would say it's worth investing this money, the license, in order to get support for your testing activities. So, and without further ado, let's take a look on the tools that I brought for you today. And basically we can put them into uh, five or six categories. So the first one would be like tools to connect to an Android device. Second one would be like for screen mirroring. Another one, another tool section would be like for performance and debugging purposes. Proxy tools is something I would like to talk about and visual testing. So let's take a look what I brought for you today. So the first thing that you might guessed already or might have thought about is the Android debug bridge. And yes, this is an Android only tool. And for those of you who are working with Android, you should really be aware already of ADB. And ADB is the so-called Android Debug Bridge, which is a command line tool that helps you as a tester to directly interact with the device, but also, for example, install apps uh, on the device or to run the monkey runner. Uh, in case you haven't seen, uh, I also did a video or I put it in the video description for the uh, monkey runner. So you can use an ADB command to um, generate random commands that you can add to the, the device 
so tapping, scrolling, doing weird stuff with the uh, with the with the um, ADB Monkey. So basically, putting chaos to it. But ADB also offers a lot of more capabilities that you can use. So you can also take screenshots from a device. You can uh, create. Um, uh, videos from the device and so forth and so forth and there's even more to know the cool thing is once you have installed Android Studio and you have it um, you have it configured on your system you will find uh, the SDK or the ADB tools in the in the platform tools folder so you can find everything here you can also see like with a command like ADB devices for example you can get like all connected devices uh, shown in the console so it's a really powerful and tiny little tool that you should um, should be aware of as an Android tester. So if you haven't done so far, make sure to follow up on the ADB um, um, developer page here to get all the insights. Take also the look at the video that I already created regarding ADB because it's one of the most powerful, tool, powerful tools that you can use uh, when you're working with Android. And it's part of the developer SDK, so that's the perfect thing. Okay, so let's then jump to the next one. Uh, the next uh, category is basically screen mirroring tools. Yes, um, might sound like a an, an no-brainer, but um, in case you're working with Android or iOS applications and for example in a review meeting you would like to show something or you would like to do like some pair sessions with somebody else, uh, sometimes it's really hard to, to mirror the stuff that you see on your mobile device to your, to your computer. And there are tools for it. And uh, one of the most used tools I would say is Wiser. So you can use Wiser and you can download it and then you can use it basically for Android and iOS applications to mirror them on the screen. Yes, there are some in-house in tools available again for Android and for iOS, but I think Wiser is a pretty, 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 pretty cool tool because it's, it's easy to integrate, for example, also in your browser and you can use it and control your application or the device completely from a, from a remote distance as well and so forth. So it's really, it's really worth checking it out in order to see how helpful screen mirror can be in terms of working with other people. Um, I also brought some alternatives to according to Visa. So we have also the uh, screen copy like S -R -S -C -R -C -P -I, um, it's called also the display and control your Android device. So that's specific for Android devices and it's basically doing the same stuff. Um, since Wiser is something also to, to some extent you have to pay for it, uh, screen copy might be something that comes for free for you. So also take a look at it here. You can get some, um, some features listed so you can uh, audio forwarding, recording, mirroring, copy paste in both directions and so forth and so forth. So also similar tool and helps you a lot in order to screen mirror or mirror your screen to your computer. Um, another tool that goes into that, that direction is so-called AirDroid, Airdroid Cast. Um, the name is now in German, I'm sorry I missed to, to, to put the English version up here. But basically it's a similar thing like Wiser, it's just like another vendor. So AirDroid Cast can also do Android and iOS mirroring. So go ahead and check it out. Same feature set, different vendor. Um, and last but not least, there's also another version. It's called uh, Lonely Screen that you can use in order to screen or mirror your screen to your computer. Again, this is for uh, Android and iOS uh, applications as well. So screen mirroring is a big topic. When I was working as a mobile tester in one of the embedded teams that I'm working with, I also had remote developers and it was really cool to do like a pairing session. Uh, I had the, the application and the test installed on my device. I was doing the screen mirror so I can, could control everything with my fingers and the, uh, the, the other one in the remote situation could follow up what I have done. And also in review meetings, this was really helpful. So if you, use, if you don't use it yet, make sure to check one of the four tools. They, might, they will help you for sure to make your life easier within the team, but also without the team or with outside of the team, I'm sorry. Um, so the next two tools, they go into a different direction. And the one is an extensible mobile app debugger. I mean, for those of you who have worked with Android, iOS or React, React Native apps or whatever, sometimes debugging is, is, is nasty. You have to use like, uh, for example, Xcode or Android Studio for debugging purposes. But I found a really nice tool that is provided by Meta. It's called the Flipper. So it's an extensible mobile app debugger. 
So Flipper is a platform for debugging iOS, Android, and React Native apps. I'm just reading it out now. So you can visually, you can visualize, inspect, and control your apps from a single desktop interface, and that's the cool part. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see here, there are some screenshots. So you can really take a look on on crash reports, for example. You can take a look at the at the this normal logs that you have uh, in, on the device and so forth. And you also can see on the left hand side, you get some more information on the device and everything that you can do with it. So that's a really cool thing. So I highly recommend you to yeah, use the, the Flipper product, try it out and see if the debugger is helpful for you in your team or for the developers. Yeah? Um, another tool I would like to show you is so-called Flashlight. And Flashlight is for, for now, um, it's an Android only tool, um, but you can also use it for uh, Android apps that are being built with React Native or with Flutter, but it's Android only for now. And it's basically a me measuring tool for Android performance. So performance testing isn't easy on mobile, right? Because you have basically three layers of performance tests that you have to do. So first one is application. Second one would be the data network. And the third one would be the backend uh, that you're using or like also the API in between. So you have to do um, performance testing on various um, various layers. And, and this tool flashlight is, yeah, it's for the Android app only. And it says here, it flashlight generates a performance score for your app, aggregating different metrics. And it's so it's no need to install anything on your app. It just measures the production, uh, the the performance on production apps. That's really cool. And it's generating um, performance reports. And it can be used via a CLI or with Flipper as well. So you can also even combine it. So that's really cool. So as you can see here, you get some metrics regarding the average test runtime, the FPS, memory usage, uh, CPU usage, and so forth and so forth. If you would like to know more about your performance of your mobile device, uh, of, your, of your mobile app, especially Android, take a look at Flashlight. It might be a helpful tool for you to go with. Okay, so now we are coming to the remaining four um, tools that we'd like to show you today. And I bet you know already like the tools that, you, that I'm going to show you right now, because if you work with mobile, you cannot work basically without those tools. And these are now two commercial tools that I'm going to like to present you. And they are proxy tools. So the first one is Proxyman. So it's a modern native web debugging proxy tool. So you can use it for, for web um, proxying, but also for mobile. Yeah. So Proxyman is basically, and I can also already show it. The second one is Charles Proxy. It's a proxy um, tool, so it acts basically as the man in the middle or the woman in the middle. So it basically intercepts the request and response that you are sending from your mobile application to the backend system. And it it basically yeah, it, it gives you complete insight in the in the traffic, the network traffic that you are sending from your app to the backend. And you can see like if, for example, your, your connection is encrypted, if the responses are correct, if the error states are handled in a correct way and so forth and so forth. Now, so it's really, really cool to work with those kind of tools. Also, what is really cool with the tools, you can also throttle the API um, speed. So for example, you can say, okay, I would like to simulate my API or my network connection to be like an uh, slow 3G network, for example, or a plane mo uh, pl um, airplane mode. So you can just put it there in the proxy and it acts exactly like that. So the API doesn't respond and then you can see like how is your app handling the situation and that's pretty helpful. And I always worked with those tools, uh, no, no matter when I was using my, my applications, I always had a, a proxy tool in, in the background running just to intercept the, the network traffic and to see what's going on, also for debugging purpose and in case there was something that, field, that felt odd or fishy, let's say. So I was directly looking into the log files and the responses and I could give some meaningful information to the developers to continue debugging or to fix an issue. So if you haven't done so far and you don't have a license yet, go talk to your manager and or if you're like an independent uh, mobile tester, invest the money in the license. It's not too expensive, it's well invested money and it will make your life so much easier. Um, what else do we have? We have another section or another like um, two tools that I would like to show you and this is like visual testing. Uh, it's also something that you would like to do um, from time to time is to do like visual comparison of screens. And there's one tool, it's called um, SHOT. 
Um, so it's basically a screenshot testing library for Android. Uh, as you can see, it's an, uh, on a GitHub project. And here it says, uh, Shot is an Android project you can use to write screenshots for your apps in a simple and friendly way. Yeah? So you can define it and, and set it up. And then while you're doing your test automation, you can do like screenshots from the application. And then you can see, you can do like a screenshot comparison to see the differences. I think it's really hard to read right now on the screen, but no worries. I, as I said, I put everything in the video description for you to follow up. But this is basically, um, yeah, you can create like the, the default image, like how the design should look like. And then in the test front, you can do a screenshot, you do the comparison, the diff, and if you see like there has a change, it's red. If everything's fine, it's green. So well, as a visual testing um, capabilities here. So that's cool. So take a look at it. Um, um, uh, you, here you can also see it in action um, in case something something worked out or didn't work out. So everything is, there's some, some descriptions, also getting started guide, really well described. Go ahead and take a look at shot in case you would like to do screenshot testing on Android. Um, on the iOS side, there is the um, iOS snapshot test case. So in case you would like to do the similar thing for, for iOS devices, you can use this uh, tool as well. You can do snapshots of your application, compare them, and then you're good to go, right? So similar thing like, like shot. And for visual testing, of course, there are also like a lot of uh, commercial tools out there. Like from my perspective, the market leader here is Apply Tools uh, to go with if, in case you would like to spend um, money to get like a full-fledged platform where you can really do visual testing um, on the next level. And But uh, as a starting point, if you're like an independent developer or independent tester, these tools are a good starting point for you to do like visual testing in case you would like to try it out in your company or within your team. Yeah, yeah and uh, with that, these were the 11 tools that I would like to, to present you. And um, I was using many of them and I'm still using many of them in case I do mobile testing. And um, yeah, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it would be really nice if you can leave me a comment in this video to, yeah, to share your mobile testing tools outside of the app your maestro universe, what tools are really helpful daily helpers uh, for you and share them with us. It would be really cool because I think we can all only benefit from it. And in case you have more tools that I haven't seen so far, I also can do a follow-up video on your tools or the tools that you're using. Really looking forward to it. Thank you for coming by. I wish you a great day, a great morning, a great night, wherever you are, wherever you are looking right now. And um, as always, leave a, leave a thumbs up, leave a subscription. Happy that you're here and see you next time. Bye.